So what's being done to prevent this and other senseless acts of gun violence? CBS 2's John Diaz joins us live from the newsroom with more. John? Well, Sydney and Natalie, countless lives will never be the same after yesterday's horrific shooting. Today, many of our local leaders, governors and mayors, they will be addressing gun violence, but we have already been hearing from others across the country. Pain and frustration wrapped into one for Golden State Warriors head coach Steve Kerr. We have children murdered at school. When are we going to do something? Kerr's father was killed by a gunman in 1984 while serving as the president of the American University of Beirut. His pregame press conference last night had nothing to do with basketball, but instead gun violence, calling out lawmakers for inaction on gun reform legislation that has stalled in Congress, including universal background checks. We are being held hostage by 50 senators in Washington who refuse to even put it to a vote despite what we, the American people, want. They won't vote on it because they want to hold on to their own power. It's pathetic. I've had enough. This comes as new FBI data shows the number of shootings in the U.S. is growing at a disturbing rate. There were 61 active shooter incidents in 2021, a more than 50% jump from the year before. And the group Every Town for Gun Safety reports there were at least 77 overall incidents of gunfire on school grounds in 2022. What are we doing? Why are we here? I'm here on this floor to beg, to literally get down on my hands and knees and beg my colleagues. Find a path forward here. The news out of Texas hit too close to home for Senator Chris Murphy, who as a congressman represented Newtown, Connecticut, the scene of the 2012 Sandy Hook shooting that took the lives of six teachers and 20 first graders who would have been juniors in high school this year. Yesterday's shooting is the deadliest since 17 people were killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida in 2018. Now, the issue of gun control will likely be front and center in Houston on Friday when the NRA plans its, to hold its annual meeting. Among the scheduled speakers, former President Donald Trump, Texas Senator Ted Cruz, and Texas's governor as well. Cindy and Natalie. All right, John, thank you. And